Hi Leo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your reading for October 16th to October 22nd. This is a weekly love reading. It's intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have created a Facebook group. It's a uh, spiritual guidance live feed. It's where other readers uh, can go and other healers and share their talents and share free mini readings as I will be doing nearly every day. If you go there and you uh, chime in on one of the free live reads, you may get chosen. I usually do anywhere from 10 to 20 people a night for free mini very many. Don't do it via email. You have to get in on the live feed. And the link will be below. This is for Leo. I do private readings via email, but those are paid private readings. If you want to check that out, that information will be below. The basis of your reading is the Five of Pentacles and the King of Swords, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or somebody who is very intellectual and outspoken. Uh, yeah, so that could be you. Let's see what we got here. All right, so the Five of Pentacles being the basis of your reading tells me that you might be feeling insecure, could be in a relationship, could be financially. This is intended to be a love reading. Um, there could be some restlessness in your life, feeling restless regarding a relationship. Um, maybe you, um, there's just a little, a few challenges, okay? Um, we do have a Scorpio here. We have Pisces and Cancer. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And we have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So we do have all the signs. I do feel like there is a union between you and another. If, the, if there isn't but anybody in your life, there could be somebody coming in, okay, that you could be very deeply connected to. Um, this could be a brand new love altogether, or it could you could already be in a relationship where there is some minor insecurities, okay? Um, I see them being minor. This now, this may or may not resonate for all of you because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. So I see a lot of you um, are probably feeling, you know, there's insecurity in the basis of your reading, but I think that, I don't think that is, it's funny because I think this is relationship and money. I think this is a relationship and money reading. Um, I see that good luck is here, a good fortune, all right, with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, I see that you're finally getting the breakthrough that you need. Something legal, perhaps, is coming to light or something is becoming final. Um, you could be getting a gift of some money, okay, because this is like a gift of some money after a time of feeling insecure. But the insecurity, I'm thinking, is more along the lines of a relationship, Um but, you know, relationships are often affected by money. So this is really plays a part, you know. They, they come together. I do see that there there's some... Um, something is ending with the death card. Okay, when the death card comes out, it means that something is ending. So, and you, so that you could start something brand new, more exciting. Um, it's after you make something final. Perhaps something has been weighing very heavily on you. And you are deciding to um, let go of it, whatever this heavy weight is. You're just finally deciding to be honest, to be truthful, do the right thing for you. And I mean being truthful with yourself. I don't mean you're lying to somebody else, but being truthful with yourself. And you're deciding to take action and walk away from a situation. Okay, now this is for, this is for some people, not all. Because um, I know that this isn't the case for everybody. I know it is for somebody because I, I felt the need to tell them. 
but I do feel like um, there is some some grief here some um, some sadness some heartache some heartache perhaps some of you um, are having having this awakening this breakthrough regarding this heartache that you have been holding on to and you're finally going to let it go and that's when the weight is going to be lifted okay because and that's when the, the, the wheel actually turns because you're letting go of some for some grief it's like you're forgiving okay forgiving a situation and moving forward you're taking action just moving forward and that's a major breakthrough with that karma card it's a breakthrough and then we have karma and this is destiny so it looks like something is you're letting go of something um, and perhaps you're forgiving you've decided to forgive or you've decided to let go of this grief or this heartache that has been weighing you down and that's when the, the wheel actually spins because you actually let it go maybe you're letting go of an insecurity that is probably it too many of you are feeling very insecure and you may be letting go of an insecurity and deciding to uh, broaden your horizons and start anew all right maybe it's a time to celebrate okay maybe you're feeling like it's a time to celebrate because you've been given a gift okay maybe you're starting to feel more grateful for all that you have and so you're deciding you know what I'm I'm gonna celebrate this gift instead of feeling insecure and in, in holding on to past grief or past regrets or past rejections all right I see that um, there a lot for many of you that there is a soulmate connection there's been some minor challenges but i think that's why the death card is here i think that you are letting them go i think there is an emotional connection which could be love between you and another person could be pisces cancer scorpio looks successful um it looks really good it, it looks like there's some forgiveness going on here and that the tide is turning in your favor. This is for Leo. beautiful so it looks really good it does we have uh, we have some new beginnings here I do believe many of you are coming into some money this week okay or you're feeling very abundant and secure we have this money and we have this money so you're feeling abundant and secure you may be given a gift of money you may be getting a raise you may be purchasing something really big um, but I think it that uh, for many of you it's like a gift some help okay um, I do see that we have a partnership here between you and another and it looks like it's a it's really growing the partnership is looks like there's a lot of bliss happiness content um, and and a lot of uh, positive vibrant energy okay it looks like we have some exciting new times ahead for you and this week is the beginning of it where you're feeling very excited about the future it's like you are ready you're acting on your hunches you're moving forward you're eager to get going okay it's like you're just eager 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 come on let's go let's go we got so much to do and we don't have so many, much time you know we need to get moving it's like um you're very excited okay and you're happy so it looks like this week you're feeling satisfied, you're following your own path, you're doing what's right, right for you. You could be, you know, talking about marriage with somebody. Um, I see that you are, your foundation is becoming stronger. Whew, it looks really, really good. If you are single, you could meet somebody. This, you could meet somebody that, sat, that will satisfy you in the future. Okay, but you are going to have to be um, confident. Okay, you're gonna have to um, be eager. Okay, get out there. When the Page of Wands, com wands comes out, if you are single, you are going to have to make the effort. 
you know, act on your hunches, get out there, do something about it, take action, because this is an action card as well, this Knight of Wands, okay? So these are both action cards. It says, get up and do something about it. If you're single, put yourself out there, get, be eager, make the effort, okay? Um, I do see happiness, I really do. And I see you here, Leo. This represents Leo and excitement, okay? Whereas you were coming, going through a time, and you, and you still may, of feeling insecure, I think all of a sudden it changes because I think you're leaving that behind, the feeling of insecurity behind. Perhaps you're starting to feel more abundant and secure again. All right? I just, there's a lot of growth here between you, you know, for you if you're single or within a relationship. Oh, this card fell out. Reflection. It's a time to go within. That's what reflection is. You got this card, but it is because it is time for you to reflect on who you are and take action. Go within, figure it out. And take action. Talk to you later, Leo.